Hey group four, so we're kind of building on what we learned last week. By the way, this is your last list of the year. Holy cow, you've done 21 word work lists with me. Amazing, you guys have learned so many new words and so many prefixes and suffixes and cool things. So we're gonna focus again on T-I-O-N because shun, which is how T-I-O-N is pronounced, is a really common word ending and you'll see it in so many different complex words and I want you guys to be very familiar with what it is and why we use it. Um, so this week we're talking about adding I-O-N to words that actually end in a T already. So there's really no change of spelling, it's just add I-O-N and now it changes from a verb, an action, into a noun, a thing. Same rules apply as last week, this is kind of just building on that knowledge. So for example, um, let's do this word. I bet you guys know what that is. Digest, right? Like I digest my meal after I eat. What's going, what's taking place is digestion, digestion. So it kind of sounds like a chen shen, depends on how you pronounce it, digestion. I will say it's more like a chin sound, shen or chen, depending on how you pronounce it, digestion. It's kind of a weird sound, digestion. <laughs> um, or let me do another one, adopt, right? If I can adopt a new kitten, I will go to the adoption center. So that one sounds more like shen. But anyway, um, notice T-I-O-N at the end changes it from an action, adopt, into a noun, adoption. However, there's also some that do have some spelling changes and they're just kind of annoying because you're like, what? They should just be the way they are. For example, this word, present. I don't mean present like I'm giving you a present, I mean present, like I'm presenting right now, I'm presenting on my board and I'm teaching you. I'm giving you a presentation, not a present shun, but I have to add this long A, presente, and then my shun. So I'm actually adding in a-T-I-O-N. It's presente shun. It's almost like two endings. It has to do with how things sound. There's no other real reason for it, because present shun, I guess, was not a good word. So someone added presentation. But there's a lot of examples of this, like the word temptation. So if I tempt you with something like, hey, here, have a cookie. You want, you want one? That is a temptation. Again, I'm going to add my A and then T-I-O-N. I know. It ends in a T, we should just add shun, like in digestion or adoption, and yet, that doesn't happen with these words. There's so many weird spelling rules that come about with endings and suffixes, especially ones that are so common, like this one, so we kind of have to just get comfortable with them and get used to them. But either way, we see the root tempt or present, and then we see our endings, a shun. I know, bizarre world, strange, but it's the same suffix either way. So here is your list, it's your last list. If there's words that you don't know that I don't explain, look them up, and here we go. Assertion, an assertion is like a statement, like I assert that spelling is, in, is hard. That's my assertion, and you guys probably agree with that. Uh, digestion, invention, eruption, exhaustion, right? So if I'm exhausted, or if I exhaust you, I tire you out, like I can exhaust out a dog, like if I make them go running around, right? That's exhaustion. <laughs> Uh, desertion. So this is with, a, with one single S. Let me go with this word. So to this word can be either desert, like we learned about deserts, or to desert. Like that means to leave something behind. So if, for instance, um, the Nazi soldiers in Denmark decided to desert Nazis and leave Germany, that would have been a desertion. Because maybe they didn't agree with what was happening, right? And they wanted to leave it. There were, there were soldiers, there have been soldiers in every war that have deserted their troops. Desertion. Needs to leave behind. Uh, exception, congestion, adoption, adaptation. That's an Asian one, right? Temptation, presentation, indentation. You guys, we you know we indent to start a paragraph. That's an indentation. Or if I push down on something and it creates like an indent, that's an indentation. Plantation, that's a place that used to grow. We don't really have them as much anymore, but uh, like a big farm, basically, for a lot of crops. Infestation, if you have an infestation of like rats or mice, ew, gross. Ooh. Lamentation, oh, a lament is to complain or to whine or to cry out, like, oh, how awful it is that we're stuck at home. That's my lamentation. 
confrontation. That's when you're angry with someone and you call them out on it, and that's a confrontation, right? So it's like, how dare you do that? And then they yell back at you, and then it creates like an argument or an escalation. That's confrontation. Sometimes they're positive, sometimes they're negative. Uh, an expectation. You guys know what that word is. Anyway, we've got some really nice long multisyllabic words to work on this week. Work hard, and I will see you guys later. Miss you. Bye.